Well, this year's nominations were heavily geared towards food production. That's hardly surprising given the global rise in food prices. Two were about honey coming against a background of disturbing stories about the vanishing wild bee population. Let's take a look. This is Gilgit. It was once a thriving trading center on the ancient Silk Route. Today, it's not on any main route, and tourism has slumped with the country's political instability. Getting products out of here adds to costs. As a result, most of what is produced here is eaten here. That's called subsistence farming, and subsistence means poverty, especially for the women whose status is many notches below the men in this conservative society. Enter the Hashu Foundation, a non-profit organization set up by the Hashwani family. Chair Sarah Hashwani wants to see some changes in these remote communities. To make this happen, the foundation began giving training in beekeeping. Crucially, the Hashu Foundation was also able to link these remote honey producers to lucrative markets in Pakistan's five-star hotels. We're not interested in just helping them earn more money, but we want to see that their children are better educated, that their children have access to health care, that they have better sanitation in the house, they have access to better nutrition. It's been close to a year that we started the project. We've seen a tremendous difference in the lives of families. Your favourite project this year was Gilgit Honeybee Association, which is generating an income for women and their families in mountainous areas of Pakistan where job opportunities are few and far between. And coming up to collect the award is Sultan Mehmood, Senior Manager of Enterprise Development.